and welcome to another Ask Krisha the Show where I answer your Twitter questions. Your burning, important, helping the world, changing the world questions via Twitter. Um, so, before I get into it, I have my iPad here to look up all your questions you asked me. I just wanted to mention that this Thursday, January 17th, at my live show, I'm doing another huge giveaway with Shopcade, which is very exciting. They are so gracious to provide these prizes to you guys. I don't get sponsored by Shopkate. I don't even get anything sent to, for free by Shopkate. I just am a huge fan of the site, and they give away stuff um, to you when you come to my live show. And all you have to do to win these three amazing prizes this time is come to my live show this Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, and also, make sure you join Shopcade and be a part of my page. It's really fun. You can see all my fashion pics. It's so much fun. We pin, pin, pin. Well, it's not pinning. It's like grabbing, I guess. But it's a lot of fun. The latest things I added to my Shopcade, um, my top three things I'll be giving away to you guys during my live show. So it's super fun. My live shows, we just kind of do like a live ass Trisha. You guys can ask me whatever. I dance. I go crazy. Who knows whatever happens on those. Um, but this week, I will be giving away. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. A Henry Bendel mirror compact, like the one I hauled not too long ago. Um, we're also giving away Tory Burch little studs that I am obsessed with and I want so bad. I saw the same ones at Neiman tagged and I got those in for you guys and then a Sephora fragrance set, set which has all the awesome fragrances by Sephora. It's kind of the most amazing thing ever so they're really great prizes. Um, you now get them out to you really quick from Shopkate so it's great. So just make sure you come this Thursday, mark your calendars and also join my Shopkate. Um, link will be in the description box below. It's super easy. Just to click and you're done. Okay and two really quick announcements. I will be at IMAS but I'm going on Sunday so that's this weekend and I'm going Sunday and I'll be there with my mom so if you're there come say hi. I decided to go Sunday because I thought it'd be a little less hectic than Saturday. I didn't want that much anxiety, but I love meeting you guys, so make sure you guys come say hi. And also, this Friday, January 18th, I will um, my episode of Dr. Phil will be airing. It was so much fun, and I think it's a really good topic, especially for young girls, so make sure you set your DVRs and tune in. All right, let's get to the questions, shall we? Okay, so I ask you guys on Twitter to hashtag your questions for me, ask Trisha, so I can just go through what I'm filming and find them, and it makes it easy peasy, love, and breezy. So let's get started. Okay, the first question comes from... Emily C. Cucumber, where should someone go who is visiting LA for the first time? Hashtag Ask Trisha. This is a great question. I love LA. So there's, you know, the, the, the touristy spots, Hollywood Walk of Fame, um, Venice Beach. Uh, those are definitely like the two big ones that everybody wants to come visit. Universal Studios. Um, and they're all really great. And um, if you come on an off season, they're not really too busy. And you kind of can just say you went there and there's a lot of great photo ops and all that stuff. My personal favorite places in LA one is the Universal City Walk slash Universal Studios. Um, you don't have to go into the park, which is like $70, so you don't have to buy a ticket, but I love, you know, the whole back lot experience at Universal Studios. But if you don't want to go there, there's the City Walk where they have all the shops and the movie and food, and it's just really fun, and like the atmosphere is really great, and I really love it. My favorite restaurant also happens to be on City Walk, but I will say that there's two locations of them. It's called Saddle Ranch Top House. There is one on City Walk, but there's another one on Sunset, and I have to say the one on Sunset Boulevard, another historic landmark, is a lot better, and it's so yummy get the mac and cheese or the chicken nachos or both that's what I normally do and it's so delicious so I strongly recommend that and Venice is totally fun but I definitely recommend not going in the summertime and going a little later in the day because it's perfect you don't get as many um, it's not so crowded and busy and overwhelming and stinky um, and then you can find all those like really cute little shops and souvenirs and it is fun I will have to say that and then my favorite mall in LA is the Beverly Center it's amazing and it's huge um, and it's either that's my favorite or the one in Costa Mesa called South Coast Plaza but that's in Orange County so I don't really know how much time you're planning on being here and of course Disneyland is in Anaheim which is also Orange County so it's just a lot of fun stuff um as for things a lot of people don't really know about, um, Sprinkles Cupcakes, and now it's becoming bigger, but Sprinkles Cupcake is definitely an LA staple, and um, where else? And museums. I love the La Brea Tar Pits. If you're into that kind of thing, just they have really great museums on Wilshire Boulevard, LACMA. Just look it up, and there's always fun events going on, and then also the Grove and the Farmer's Market. It's another LA staple, and just a lot of fun, and it feels very LA to me, and it's right by CPS Studios, so you can see where they do the Price is Right and Dancing with Stars. It's a lot of fun. Okay, next question comes from Miss Caitlin J X O. Is there a way I can go blonde without it totally frying my hair? Any tips? Hashtag Ask Trisha. Okay, I get asked this one a lot, and I might just do a whole video on it. Um, but yes, okay, so bleaching your hair is probably 
one of the worst processes you can do, but you know, we'd love to be platinum blonde, so all you have to do is take extra care of your hair after you damage it and fry it and all that stuff like that. For me personally, I use a ton of oils and leave-in conditioner. Um, my favorite is the Moroccan oil, and it's amazing, and you put it in when your hair's damp, you know, blow dry style, and then you put it in again when it's dry. Um, also, heat protectants on any kind of hair is really good. My personal favorite is the KQC and the 909 Magic Spray. Now, when you are bleaching your hair, leave-in conditioners are your best, best friends, especially at the tips of your hair because that's where we get the little, it's where it breaks off is at the ends of your hair. Um, the one I'm currently using is it's called It's a 10 and it comes in like this blue bottle and it's amazing and just really baby your hair and make sure you just apply it general, generous, generously um, and you know just make sure you just really take good care of it. Do a deep conditioner once a week. Put a leave-in conditioner every time you wash your hair and also don't wash your hair every day. If you're a bleach blonde your hair is not going to get greasy or any kind of blonde because it is so dried and damaged it doesn't really like get greasy if that makes sense. So try and do it only like twice a week. That's when I wash my hair every three days, four days, um, you know, still shower, but, you know, just take it easy with the washing the hair. That way you don't always have to be blow drying it and let it air dry as much as possible. I rarely blow dry my hair anymore. I just let it air dry. It does take a long time, but it is better for your hair in the end. Also, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. This is like my big secret tip and I wanted to do a whole video on it, but biotin. If you can get yourself some biotin vitamins, they sell them at Trader Joe's. They're all natural target. Um, they're really, really great. I highly recommend biotin. It's almost like it helps your skin, your nails, your hair, everything. It's great. People think they're pretty prenatal vitamins, but they're not. They're just really awesome for beauty purposes. Next question comes from Michelle Cena 12 hashtag Ask Do you ever regret your boob jobs or the size of them? Absolutely not. I love my boob jobs so much. I want to go bigger. I think you get addicted. I have so much more confidence. As you guys know, I had really uneven breasts, like heavily uneven breasts, and uh, they hung a lot lower. I know a lot of people are like, your breasts are still zeggy, but they were a lot lower, so I have just so much confidence to have a nice, even cleavage. Um, never regret them. I want them bigger. Um, you do get kind of addicted, but um, it's only because I really, really researched and thought about it for years and years and years and years. And I just, you know, it's basically like how when I used to stuff my bra, it's basically the size of them now. So I knew how it was going to feel. And I highly recommend that before getting boob job. Put some rice or chicken cutlets or socks and just like walk around with them to make sure you really want them and that size. Next question comes from GlamourDoll85, hashtag Ask Trisha. Trisha, would you put your kids in a kitty pageant like toddlers and tiara? And my my answer is heck yes. I would have loved to have been in those when I was a little kid. Just to like dress up and be girly. Like I would have loved to and I begged my parents. And we didn't have the money at the time, so that's why I couldn't do it. But I, would, I need to be in that position where I could put my kids in that. And of course, if they're kicking and screaming and crying and like not wanting it, I'm not going to like force them to keep doing it. But I feel like it would be something my daughter would like. I know it doesn't always translate into your daughter, you know, your life, but something I know I always wanted to do, and my current boyfriend actually is not too keen on that idea, and it's a little bit of a deal breaker, because I'm like, it's gonna happen, so uh, we have to definitely talk about that before we have kids, um, but absolutely, I think it's adorable, I think it's cute, and I think it's harmless, I think people just like to, you know, pick out all the negative things of anything that's on TV these days, you know, it has to be controversial, I don't know, but yes, to answer your question, heck yes. Hey, am underscore ninja underscore sh s. Um, hashtag ask Trisha any advice against awkwardness around guys I'm especially awkward well I would say embrace your awkwardness um, I for one uh, really just just I can't hide the awkwardness I just can't I'm not that good of an actress I don't want to be and I find guys who embrace that awkwardness because I tell you you'll find a guy who just thinks those awkwardnesses are really cute and quirky and that's what's going to make you stand out from other girls. So even if you feel awkward, that's okay because when you find the one you're supposed to be with, you're not going to feel awkward. Trust me. I'm usually really awkward around social situations and dating and the first date can be awkward, but if you're not comfortable and he hasn't embraced your awkwardness in the first few dates, then he's just not for you. So, you know, just kind of put yourself out there and no way to make you feel uncomfortable and uh, I think you'll end up eventually finding the guy that you want and the friends that you want because they'll embrace your awkwardness. Okay, and then the final question comes from Rihanna Carta. Hashtag Asha Show. What did you miss most about Cali when you were in NYC? And what did you like most about NYC? Oh, this is a great question. So I just recently went to New York City at the beginning of the year. And it was a lot of fun because I was filming for a TV show on FX. And it was a great time. And usually I despise New York. Like, oh, my past experiences in New York have been awful. I just think they put their trash on the streets. I always thought it was really smelly and just crowded and just not my scene. You know, not it's not very friendly. People just don't smile at you for no reason like they do here in L.A. So um, I probably, but this last time was good. So 
giving you a pretty unbiased thing. What did I miss most about Cali when I was in NYC? I just like one well, the warm weather because I went to the winter time so I immediately miss the warm weather and wearing my little dresses and pants and all that stuff like that. Um but I also missed just the overall vibe. There's something when you come to LA, for me personally, even when I was a kid, and when I come to LA, I just feel like there's so much um, hope and like dreams in the air, and you can just feel the ambition in the air, if that makes sense. And when you go to New York, it can, especially in the winter maybe, more so, um, it just feels like people are just getting by. And that's that may not be the case, that's just the feeling. So when I, when I, get to New York, sometimes I'm a little sad, but when I came back to California instantly, I looked at the beach and the palm trees, and it just makes me happy. I just love to look at the scenery. So that's probably what I miss the most, and of course, In-N-Out Burger. And what did you like most about NYC? I love live theater, and so I love that that's where they thrive in New York, is on live theater. I was just in awe of all the plays we got to see. It was so amazing. Um, and that's probably my favorite part, and they do have really good food. Oh, and I like the little cheap vendors on the streets. I think they're so cute because I'm like knockoff queen right here. I'm like, ooh, I'll take that Gucci bag for $10 and that Versace sunglasses for $12. And it was great. I like that part too. Okay, so that is going to do it for this week's Ask Trisha. If you guys have questions, make sure you ask me on Twitter. Hashtag Ask Trisha. On my Twitter is at Trisha Paytas. You can also like me on Facebook at official Trisha Paytas or Instagram at Trisha Paytas. <laughs> so simple, right? Okay, so anyways, that is going to do it for me. I have a live show coming up Thursday, tomorrow, and I hope to see you all there with lots of prizes to give away. Kisses for my fishies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, guys.